Hello everyone, just an update. I am feeling much better. Like I said, I don't really do a lot of those videos, but certainly almost every nurse in that hospital and tech heard me cry repeatedly about everything. Just going through this, feeling like I've ruined everybody, including my husband who, for some reason, just thought it was worth it. I know, I feel like I am too. I mean, he's is married to some to a really fucking horrible person but that's not my story to tell maybe i'll tell it another time but um yeah i'm feeling much better um you can kind of see the uh big tree and all of the sunshine in here in my glasses in my glasses where do i go to avoid it i don't know anyway i'm feeling better I know I have to figure something out because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. You know, the thing I find that's kind of gross about social media and actually just everyone in general. So I've owned multiple URLs in my life. I have never put advertising on any of them because I'm just grossed out by people's like tendency to always try to sell each other stuff. Like, can we just stop doing that all the time? Can we try something else? Like, I would really like to do something where I discourage people from listening to any celebrities about anything because they live in a totally different realm than the rest of us. We're not going to be them. They don't even wear designer stuff most of the time from anyone that I've ever known. And ultimately, they bring no value to any of us at all. You know, I'd really like something where I could encourage education and for people to spend their time on self-improvement and maybe some of the things that I'm already advertising that I've never gotten a dollar from. Maybe, yeah, but some of these outrageous, like, brand deals that people accept all in the name of money and, like, sell their souls out to people knowing that the product is fraudulent or doesn't work. It's like, can we have any other values, please? Like any, like truly, you know, and I'm not a church person. I luckily was never infected with that brain virus when I was a kid, which is a good thing because my morality is actually built on a foundation of reality. You don't hurt people. You try to be good to people. You try to help everyone that you can. I don't understand having to need this book to scare you into being a good person. You're good or you need a book to scare you, basically. And what happens to, you know, I actually fear church people more than anything because what happens when they start doubting that book? None what? I've never needed a book for my morality. I just don't hurt people. I don't do anything to anyone else that I wouldn't like done to me. And I try to actually give people the energy that I would like back. And I think most people who know me know that that is true. And I have tried to help so many people, but at this point, I'm at the level where, you know, all these people, like even when I was leaving the East Coast, like all the people that I had lived with me for free, do you think any of them were there for me at all? No, they weren't. And even now where I'm like, I'm, I'm still 27 cents to overdrawn, by the way. <laughs> I haven't been to Chase Bank to put in my, um, my aunt's $35 check and she's, not a person of means, but she really did me a huge favor because I didn't have any other money. And I know that sounds outrageous. Yes, I have a husband. He's paying for everything, so I can't just keep, like, taking his money all the time. So I'm going to try to figure something out. I have endless T-shirts. I've got a desk uh, desktop screen printer. I've got polymer clay. I can make jewelry. I can make prints. I'm going to have to figure something out because... This is not going to work. I mean, disability is going to be ravaged from tax debts as well as that student loan. And it's it's not going to help my husband at all. And at this point, I just need to figure something out. So here I am scheming and trying to figure out ways to help while I am supposed to be healing. But this is America where you have to worry about not having enough money to live. Yay! Anyway, I'm hoping this is done in one take because... Again, my neck is sore, and this kind of voice exertion is very limited. Anyway, I hope you are awesome. I will check in with you guys tomorrow, and you take care. Thanks again. Bye.